numbers and look at tonight's winning Powerball numbers. They are 10, 6, 37, 28, 40, the bonus number 14. And checking the lotto numbers, 28, 1, 26, 18, 22, 17. Good luck to you. Two sisters separated by circumstance. As the years stacked up, they lost track of time and eventually each other. Now, more than three decades later, they are reunited right here in the valley with the help of a local company. The Elk Atherton has the story. <laughs> She just said my everything, my everything, my life. And the saddest day of my life is when she left. Linda Love remembers the day vividly, the day her big sister Louise left home in San Angelo, Texas. Linda was just six at the time, and Louise, 16. So we were very poor, we were very poor. My, my father was an alcoholic, he was just a horrible person, horrible person. But she wouldn't allow him to go to school. And she wanted school, she wanted education, very bad, very badly. So she, that's the reason why she left. Linda never saw or heard from Louise again. Once more, she blamed her father. If we got a letter from Louise, I mean, everything would have blown up. You know, he was an alcoholic and he just, he was just terrible. Linda says, as she grew older, the need to find Louise grew stronger. But the search ended one fateful night in 1986 when Linda's eyesight was stripped away in a tragic car accident. Recently, she heard a report on News Channel 3 about a company called Finders Limited. The company specializes in finding people. I called and asked them, uh, give me the, can you find my sister? But this lady really stole our heart. We really, just kind of really felt sorry for her. She was really special to us. With the little bit of information Linda could provide, a name and a date of birth, Finders went to work on a nationwide search for her sister Louise. A computer program and a telephone are all it took. Within a half hour, Linda got the phone call she had been waiting for all her life. Finders told Linda they found 15 possibilities. We faxed it to her, she looked it over, and she said, this one right here has got to be my sister. She picked up the phone and I said, Louise, and she goes, yeah. And I go, Louise Kirkendall? And she says, Linda. She started crying, and at that time, my son walked in, and we just started hugging each other and started crying our eyes out. So it, it, was, it was a tremendous shock to me. And, and I was just, a good word, like you say, is overwhelmed. Finders went even further and decided to reunite the sisters in Phoenix. I, I was shocked at first, but I, and I was trembling, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I still can't believe it's happening. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe. Gosh. Too good to be true? Not yet. Finders felt this reunion wouldn't be complete without a surprise guest. We not only sent for Linda's, Linda's sister, but Linda's mother as well, because Linda's mother hasn't seen this child in 16, since she was 16. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. If you're trying to track down a lost loved one, Finders Limited may be able to help you. Here's the number to call, 820-8549. I can barely read after Whoa. that one. That was so sad. Hey, well, that's a heart wrencher, isn't it? Happy sad, though. Yeah, feeling good. You know, ASU yes. is uh, not sad at all. They're very happy. No, happy. Yeah. Happy, happy, <laughs> happy, happy. That's the word around here right now. ASU gets their fourth win in a row. We'll take you to Berkeley.